Last time, we wrote the clear lines function for our board, which removes all of the completed rows on a given board. In this video, we will continue writing a few more helper functions for our board module. First, let's write a function called add tetromino. This function will take in a tetromino to add and a board, and it will produce a new board where the tetromino is part of that board. We will pattern match on the tetromino argument which will give us direct access to the shape and block fields it contains. Next, we will turn our tetromino into a new board, which we can easily combine with the board that we passed in. To do this, we need to have a list of location block pairs. Recall that the shape field of tetromino is a list of locations and that the block field is a block which occupies that shape. We will use the map to function with the pair constructor applied to our shape list and a list containing four of our blocks. Then we will simply hand it off to our new function to get back a board. Finally, we can union as board with board to produce the new board containing the tetromino. Let's test it out. I'll add in a J piece. Notice it is at the bottom left of the board. Let's go ahead and shift it. Great, this looks good to me. Next, let's write a predicate called inbounds. Inbounds will take in a tetromino and produce true if all of the location in its shapes are within the bounds of a board. Because I only care about the shape of the tetromino, I will only pattern match on that field. Let's start by writing a helper predicate, check location. It will take in a location and tell us if that location is within the bounds. If the row in that location is greater than or equal to zero, and the column is greater than or equal to zero, and the column is less than the width of the board, which happens to be calls, then we are within the bounds of the board. The top edge of the board is a little tricky as pieces technically start above the edge, but our pieces only ever move down, so we won't worry about it. Finally, we need to check if all of the locations in our tetromino satisfy the check location predicate. To do this, we'll use the all function, which takes in a predicate and a list and determines if all the values in the list satisfy that predicate. Next, let's write another predicate. This one will be called is intersecting. It will take in a tetromino and a board, and then it will produce true if the tetromino intersects with any of the blocks on the board. Again, we'll write a helper predicate called check location. This time, we won't pattern match on the location value. Instead, we want to check and see if it is a key in the board. We can do this by using dictionary's member function, which takes in a key and a board and determines if the specified key is in the dictionary. Finally, we are intersecting if any of the locations in our shape are contained in the board. We'll use the any function this time, which produces true if any of the values in our list satisfy the predicate. We will now write one more predicate, is valid, which will take in a tetromino and a board and produce true if the tetromino is in a valid spot on our board. A tetromino is in a valid spot when it is in bounds and when it is not intersecting the board. Pretty straightforward, right? All right, let's test this a little bit. I want to be able to show more than one element on the screen, so I'm going to go ahead and import the flow function from graphics.element, 
And then we're also going to import the down direction from graphics.element. The flow function lets you position elements next to each other, and the down value is a direction which will specify that the element should flow downward on the screen. Next, let's move this add tetromino to our main function. and add our collage to a flow. Finally, we also want to determine if the board and the tetromino we are looking at are valid. So I'll add another element, which is isValid, applied to a tetromino and our test board. And when we refresh this, we get our board, and it says true, so it is valid. That makes sense since our piece is in the middle of the board. Let's go ahead and move our tetromino all the way to the left edge. And it is still valid. Let's move it out of bounds. Now it is no longer valid, which is correct. Let's go ahead and check the other side. On the edge, this looks good. And outside, false, that's correct. And let's move it down and check if intersect is happy. And when we're intersecting, it returns false, which is what we want. Now, let's empty the board so we can test the bottom edge. And when we're on the edge, we're good. And when we're outside, it returns false, which is right. Great! In the next video, we're going to start adding our board to our state module.